What do you think of this game, Jack? It's awesome. I'm gonna go. Here. No. What do you think, Kelsey? What do you think of the game? It's great. It's really it's stressful. Gotta <laughs> win. All right. Uh, here's the Tower of Hanoi, one of the classic math puzzles of all times. Been around about a hundred years. Just a great example of Pascal's triangle, binary number sequences. It's usually kind of the first problem when you do recursive programming. There's a plastic one we made on the 3D printer. It's pretty cool. And if you want to know more about the Tower of Hanoi, I have some videos uh, online on the YouTube channel. Okay, that brings us to the game Prison Lock. Uh, fantastic game. Two to four people can play, ages nine and above. I have the game set up on the 16 pegs, and each player has four rings. So the goal of the game, the way you win, is you get four discs in a row. Um, four, three, two, one. That would win the game. Or if I had my blue just like this, and white was able to finish the sequence of four, white would win. So whoever finishes the sequence of four wins the game. I could go horizontally. I could go vertically. Uh, let's say white went here. White would win the game. I could go on the diagonal. And I can also go as a stack. So let's say it went four, three, one right here. That would be a stack of four sequential discs. So that would be a win as well. Okay, so that's the objective of the game, to get four discs in a row. There's three rules to the game. The first rule is you only move one disc at a time, uh, and it can only move to an adjacent peg. So I can move the disc here, here, or here. So rule number two is I could cover up other people's discs with a smaller or same size disc. So if there was a white disc here, I could put a blue disc on top of it. Blue could still be played off, but white would be in prison and can't move. I could play blue on top, number one or number two. I could contain this whole stack right here. And then rule three is I cannot win with a stack on my home peg. So I can't win with a stack on my home peg like this. Okay, but if this red was off and I were to get my last disc right here, I would win because it's not my home peg. Blue would win in this case. The way I determine who goes first is I spin the disc. Whoever it points to, that's the first player in the game. Okay, so let's play a game really quick here. Blue goes first. There's my move. Then white's turn. White goes here. Green's play. Red's turn. Blue's next move. White could go on top of blue. Now that blue disc is in prison. Green's turn. Red's turn. Back to blue. Uh, white's turn, let's say white goes here, green's turn, green jumps on top of red, red's turn, it's back to blue, let's say blue moves over here, white's turn, trying to stack there, green would go over here, red's move, blue could win it right here, blue's move, blue moves the one on top of the three, four, three, two, one, Blue wins the game. <laughs> what do you think, Noah? Uh, this game's great. There's a lot of strategy to it, and uh, so many different ways to win. Yeah, you think I have to uh, what's going on, Cameron? Uh, we're about to win. Yeah. Is it my turn? Yeah. Oh, um.